And WJZ is also following another big story tonight. We get up every day uh, to keep working to promote our legacy. It's a WJZ exclusive as we speak with the parents of Pavel LaPere, whose death sent shockwaves through Baltimore's business and tech community. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Stefan Dingle. Welcome to those of you watching us on CBS News Baltimore and here on WJZ TV. Pavel LaPere was regarded as one of the city's next generation of leaders. And this is a WJZ exclusive tonight as our Paul guests are sat down with Pavel's parents who are in town now to memorialize their daughter and carry on her legacy. From a very, very young age, she was in charge, and she was a leader. This, this is the Pava LaPere her parents want to share. To be such a strong leader at such a young age is very amazing. The mischievous, animal-loving child. She loved animals. She loved nature. Who grew to be a Baltimore business leader. And gave us a tremendous amount of pride knowing what she accomplished in her years. Pava started her Baltimore City tech company, EcoMap, when she was still a student at Johns Hopkins. The joke was, Mom and Dad, I'm sorry, I don't have any grandkids for you, but look, I have almost 30 employees. Pava and her friends saw a need to help share resources with startups. She was a motivator. She worked hard. Up early. Down late. The business took off. Pava got noticed, honored this year as one of Forbes 30 under 30. She was daddy's little girl and she didn't forget it. Yeah. yeah, she was daddy's little girl until she wanted to be girl boss and daughter boss. In September, the community shared in grief after Pava was killed in her Mount Vernon apartment. So we thank you all for being here and for loving our daughter and taking care of her. Frank and Caroline are back in Baltimore this weekend for just the second time since Pava's vigil. The last several months have been challenging because we've had to relive a lot of her life. Early on, they were taken with the computer. The past two months have been spent sharing memories. They reminded us of her life and her potential and the progress from that sweet little daddy's girl to this wonderful little business leader who impacted so many people. Yeah. EcoMap describes her as a five foot two inch giant. Last week, they announced a fellowship in Pava's honor. Her parents say scholarships and endowments are also in the works. She got a lot from this city and she wanted to give a lot back and she was in the act of doing that. Well, let's not stop that momentum. Hundreds are expected here at 2.30 Saturday afternoon for Pava's memorial service. There are also events planned both here and in her hometown of Tucson, Arizona in the spring. To learn more, go to WJZ.com. For now, reporting from Johns Hopkins Homewood Campus, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.